pitching discussion, I believe. Um, I want to thank everybody for the comments about turning up the volume on the microphone. We'll, we'll do that now. We can get louder. That's right. Yeah, it's not, usually volume is not the problem for us. Um, JJ, we are uh, opposed on this, uh, and yet Arkansas gave more ammunition to your argument, which basically is, and you did a, a very thorough story in the preseason, and I think a very needed story, and very needed change at the high school level. There are a lot of national, uh, you know, every state has its own high school athletic association, but they've, for the most part, all but two states have adopted and one of those pitch is, counts. One of those will have it next year. Now that Louisiana basically adopted it, but for a 2018. year, 2018. But everyone else adopted them this year. So the na nationally, we have, it's not 100% the same pitch count regulations, but we do have pitch counts for high school pitching around the country. And it looks like, basically, with, without another way to say it, that we need them in college baseball. Because if we don't have them in college baseball, co coaches continually use pitchers on short rest. And I don't know how you judge who should be pitch count limited and who shouldn't. I guess I'm actually coming around to your argument. I don't have a problem with Davidson the way they use Duran Olinger. He's 23 years old. He's not a prospect. He's not going to play professional baseball. He's already going to play, uh, you know, he's already going to go to pharmacy school in the fall at the University of Florida. He told the coaching staff there, this is it for me. Use me as much as you want to. And they've used him <laughs> as a much lot. as they can. They used him three times in four days in the Atlantic 10 tournament. They used him on Friday to start against North Carolina, and then he closed on Sunday for two innings. But Arkansas is another example, and this has been consistent over Dave Horn's career. Dave Van Horn has had a great coaching career, and there are a lot of his alumni from Arkansas pitching in the big leagues. Some of the record, best pitchers, pretty good. Yeah, some of the best pitchers of this And some fringy guys, too. I mean, yeah. Cliff Lee but, and Dallas Keuchel, but also Chase Anderson and uh, Mike Bolsinger, guys who weren't high prospects. So the track record at Arkansas pro ball is quite good. But the